In this video, I'll be highlighting some basics of LaTeX for document editing. I'll highlight three key things that I find important for LaTeX. This is style templates, the bibliography, and being able to insert professional quality mathematics formulas. I'm going to start from Overleaf and borrow their example project. It put in my username, it uses the LaTeX article class, and it put in some random script and uh, a figure file, and it also has generated a bib file. This is useful for bibliographies. So I have copied this information to my own copy of TechMaker. And in one folder on my computer, I have the tech file where I've copied that in, a figure file that I want to add and customize, and my own BibTeX database um, with my own entries in it, but I've used the same file name that they had on Overleaf. So in TechMaker, I'm going to open this demo file. And so I, my, the things inside the curly braces are things to change. The things with the slash are things that are uh, commands. So I'm going to put in my actual name here. And I can use PDF LaTeX or I can choose some of these different options. Um, we can configure quick build and there's instructions online about how to do that. Usually the options are LaTeX or PDF build or quick build or LaTeX, PDF LaTeX, or Quick Build. I'm going to do Quick Build. Uh, it doesn't like that I don't have a picture file named Universe, so that's okay. Um, and it did run it without putting the picture file in there. So on Overleaf, it compiles automatically, but in TechMaker, you need to either run Quick Build or run some set of commands. And you need to, if you did PDF Viewer, you need to actually view the PDF as a consequence. All right, so you can see that here was the title, class demo, that's showing up there. My name, there, the date. And then whatever text is in the section heading gets bolded and formatted in a certain way. And that depends on the style file. If the style file, this is article, if that class was something else, it might tell it to put a period after the one or have different margins. So you don't have to handle the margins directly here. And you see a question mark. The question mark is because um, this has used a different reference than the ones that I have. So I'm going to also open my bibliography file. And I just have more entries here. So I have some articles, I have books, uh, but I'm usually going to cite an article. Um, so you can find lots of information online about how to do BibTeX entries, but um, generally, it's at the type of reference, curly braces, a nickname, and my notation is I usually do the first author's last name, a colon, and the year, comma, then it's you need to go, these can be in any order, but the last one of them cannot have a comma, all of the ones in between need to have a comma, you need to have curly braces that surround an entry, if you need to force the capitalization to follow some um, not just capitalizing the first letter, you need to put a double set of curly braces. And so general things you need for an article are author, title, year, and journal. And then if there are any volume or page numbers, if it's a book, you need to have the author, the title, the publisher, the year, and then if you have a subset of pages. So I have this information, so I need to update um, what this refers to because this article does not exist on my computer. I also have a document called LaTeX Diagram or a picture file called LaTeX Diagram. So starting from the top, um, using packages, if you need to insert any, that's where they go. Then this is the header. I've got some other packages. I begin the document. So any header information, title, all that, it goes before the begin document. I can have any number of sections. And then I put my bibliography information at the end, and then I have to end the document. So in the figure, I can 
put in the name of my actual file, which was LaTeX underscore diagram, and I'll just check my capitalization scheme, capital T and capital X. So if I run that, it now has put in a giant figure. I don't want it to be 1.7, 170% of its original size. Let's see if it will do 100% size. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I might want it to be smaller just to fit on the page a little bit more easily. And so that's 50% of that file's original size. Yeah, so that looks much nicer. Um, so this is the bibliography style that is by default being used, Nat Bib. If I wanted to, um, or let me also then cite before we get to see, our, our style is plain, but this is our package that includes the plain citation style. We could have unsorted. There's a few different options that are part of the NatBib package. So I'm going to cite here, instead of Adams 95 Hitchhiker, Ford Recipt 2014, which was the first entry in that bib file I had. Sometimes when you do this, a question mark will show up the first time um, if you've not run it before, but if you run it twice, then the numbers get updated. So you'll see that the references showing up here automatically. I don't have to type it in for myself. It read the um, order that that should be. If you notice in my bib file, um, I had said Ford Recip comma A N and Bratz comma R D and it organized them by the rules that this particular style calls for. So that can be really, really useful when different um, journals or different um, classes require that you use different styles. You can easily switch between them by a few clicks rather than having to manually update all of your references. So that's a really powerful tool. So I can insert a picture, I can change the caption to be something customized for me. So uh, LaTeX diagram, whatever I type in there is going to then be um, customized and shown there. I can also do cross-references and other things um, in the text, and LaTeX does a really good job of keeping track of the numbers of my figures. Um, this label is a nickname that I can use to cross-reference if I wanted to say um, C, figure, and I don't want to tell it the number because the number could update. I could say C, figure, ref, and the ref is telling me all the things that have been labeled. And so if I do that, it put in the number of that figure because it was labeled. Right. Um, your figure files, an important piece, is if they have spaces in the name, it will do weird things to the captions. So choose file names that do not have spaces in them for uh, your figures your image files. Um, 